M0FXB, just a very quick comparison of the Zygu X6 200 and 100. Now I feel like the 200 feels heavier and the colors are, uh, I would say the words more vibrant. So you've got brighter greens and more fuller blues. And look, we've got, at the moment, we've got the oscilloscope as you have with the X6 100. But if we turn this knob, we can get rid of it. And by default, it comes with the widescreen waterfall. What have they added? You've got this expansion slot. There's nothing in it at the moment. But also, you've got air band and you've got broadcast radio. Otherwise, it's, you know, the app decoder is still there. FT8. Oh, yeah, they've added FT8 decode. So that's obviously quite a big deal. If we go to FT8 decode, go to 7074 change to USB. I tested it earlier, it works straight away. That's USB digital. And after a minute or so, it just started working. Yeah. So yeah, of course, that's a nice feature. I do note that with the R1CBU firmware, you can actually transmit on FT8 and decode, but that is a modified firmware. Maybe that'll come. Yeah, there it goes there. Look. So yeah, of course, you know, who's good? no one's going to complain about that. Price wise, you know, you're looking at the X6100 was about £600. These are more like nearer 800 They are selling them with a, you know, a free battery. I don't know if they're still running that promotion. And that's the other big noticeable change. You have a removable battery now where you didn't have that before. It just clips on the back. A bit like the 705 so you know that's got to be a good thing the other thing you're getting i mean ultimately these are there are business and they do have to you know they do have to make people buy new radios that's part of business isn't it so um there's the new microphone very nice with the bright lights here it's a real nice design actually they they really got it right with the style of this microphone and it feels quite heavy h22 so I think it's a good radio. Um, I don't really have a preference and the price has to be taken into account because obviously the 200 costs more. So anyway, I've been doing lots of videos. You can't do air band with the 100. You can't do broadcast radio. It's HF, six meters, still both got built-in PTTs. The PTT is a lot bigger on the 200 than the 100 but up and down the bands is pretty much the same with the up and down arrow and the modes at the front here and then frequency change buttons at the top and i think they're both fun radios myself um you know some people say well i could get a 705 for that price well no you can't 705 is going to cost you 1400 pound yeah this is going to cost you with promotions probably 850 and that's quite a big difference the third difference and you get your built-in tuner and you won't have to buy any handles because it's got handles with it. So by the time you've saved on buying a tuner, handles, yeah, you don't have to get an airband radio, but yeah, the 705 does airband, it does it very well actually. Um, so there's no point trying to choose. Um, you just, you know, you buy the radio that you want to buy and enjoy it. No radio is perfect. People talk about the birdies on the X6100. For me, that has made no difference to using it on HF. So if we just quickly come out of this and just go to a, a HF channel that's busy. It is quite busy tonight. We need to turn off FT8 decode. Hit general for now. Of course, I'll be doing tutorials. Change the frequency step there. So that's the six two hundred. Turn that down completely. Then we'll do with the Zyke with the one hundred. Same thing one four seven. 
500. You know, the speaker isn't as good. It distorts if you go too loud. So I would say it's a, yeah, I think it's a better speaker on the 200. But you can plug in an external speaker. But still a very usable set. Look at all those signals. Look, there's nothing on the waterfall here, and that's my fault, because I've been playing around with the settings. Let's turn up the other one. So we'll do some more videos, of course. I've only had it, a, what, an hour? Push that to an RF gain, look. And if I go, because I've been playing around with it, if I go to system, do factory reset, let's do it. We'll get it back to default. It boots up quite quick. Because sometimes with the 100, it can be a bit glitchy at times on the boot up, can't it? There it goes. Let's go down. So this is what it looks like when you get it. You can see there's more detail there. So you can see now we're starting to get detail. Let's get the RF gain. Get a bit of a stronger. Oh, that's too much. Probably better off to do the waterfall gain. The display. We've got a waterfall reflector. Let's do this. Oh, <laughs> it's not touchscreen. Select that. And that's. Oh, I'm turning the wrong knob. I need to play around with it, don't I? Because we want that dark blue, we don't want this light blue. But you can customise all the colours. Bye for now, 73.